Simpson's here. Eileen Simpson. Texas with us. She's she's kind of getting late into the game, but she's she's all brought up to speed. Okay. You know who I am, right? Okay. I know this is hard. Just before we start, okay. We just have to go over some paperwork. We're gonna go over the paperwork and we're gonna show you what's going on. Okay. All right. <clears throat> you can read and write, correct? Yes. Make sure you say yes or no for my partner because she, she's got to hear you say it. Just show me. I'm going to go over your rights form because the last time we talked, we had to clear up some inconsistencies, right? Okay, so I want to make sure you know how serious this is. Yes, sir. Okay. Just read the first line of this for me, Lana. You have the following rights under this United States Constitution. Good. You do not have to make a statement or say anything. Do you understand that? Yes. Oh, thank you. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand that? You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you and to have the lawyer with you during any questioning. Do you understand that? Okay. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? Yes. I'm, I'm old. Come on now. <laughs> if you do answer questions, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult with a lawyer. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. You know where you're at. You're at the Police Memorial Building on the Foot PMB. Today's date is the 29th. What 19, time? 1940, which is 740 p.m. 740 p.m. We put all these lines beside these dots, and that's where I read each line to you. I want you to put your initials in each line, indicating you understand what you read. Okay? If you don't, let me know before you sign this. And once you've went over that and initial it, just put your signature there saying you understand that. Okay, now this don't mean I'm under arrest. You're not under arrest. Not this just means that, you know, if you right. don't want to talk to us, you don't have to, but I, okay. yeah, I'm sure that's I'm not an issue. Right. You, yeah. So sign your initials right there. And just make sure, I mean, you came down here voluntarily, right? Yes. Okay, nobody twisted your arm and nobody made threats for you to come down here, right? No. And even though we've We've had some discussions at time, but we, we have we treated you fairly? Yeah. Okay. So all right. Well just if you understand that, just sign it and we'll get on with this. You got any questions? What yes. about the form? Oh no, not about the form. Okay. Let me just sign this. <clears throat> we wanna show you a couple photographs and we also wanna go over some things with you. You all right with that? Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you real quick. Have you, are you under the influence today or anything like that? No. Any weed, no. Uh, anything other than prescription medication? Not even that. Okay. No. And so you're, you're perfectly I'm coherent? Very, yes, I'm very So you're aware, you're aware of what's yeah. going on, correct? Yeah. Okay. This may, may not be something you yeah. recognize. These could be or could not be anything. But only you can tell us that. Right. I mean, he does have a, a green shirt. Was it in the laundry? Yes or no? Was that the one that's all that's used uh, in his pictures on the news and stuff like that? Where no, that shirt was yellow. Okay. I'll check on that. But that you know, uh, does that look like anything um, relative to this? That looks like... I mean, he has a green shirt. That's it. Okay. My son has a green shirt, so. And that's what I want is I want fair responses like yeah. that. Okay. Sorry. Do you recognize that? What is that? How sure are you? Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we have a blanket like that. And what's, what's the characters on that blanket? It's, um, cars. The movie cars. Okay. I like Tomator and on the Mullins, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So he has a blanket. That we if that's not it, it's, it's almost exactly like that, right? Are you saying it's. Yeah, yes. It's same pattern and everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, when was the last time you saw the blanket? Um, honestly, the last time I, I saw it was um, it could have gotten took out the storage. Um, I believe it was in the storage, unless he got it out and washed it. Okay. Now, I've been straight with you, I have I not? Yes, even sir, even yeah. when I've been hard on my question, I've been straight. Yes, sir. And I've been fair with my questions. <clears throat> we need to 
clear some things up. Okay, well, let's get to clear. All right. First of all, I want to go over your, your timeline. Okay. Okay, I want to start with when you got up Thursday. Okay. All right, what time do you remember Thursday? This is Ju July 23rd on a Thursday. Um, no, go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, I remember we slept in for a while, got up. When you say we, make sure you me say and names Ruben, and stay. Me and Ruben and the kids. Okay. Um, when you mean I, slept in. I mean like just laid around and watched movies. We didn't go nowhere or nothing like that. Time. Time. Um, Best estimation. I know we woke up probably around 12 or so to, uh, or I did, and got um, some Pop-Tarts, some cereal for the baby and stuff. We went back up there and was watching movies. Um, went to the store with Brittany, to the dollar store with Brittany. When we say Brittany, uh, Kelly. Okay. okay. And did and she come over or did y'all pick her up? She came over. We what? took her vehicle to the dollar store. What's her vehicle? Um, I think it's a Pathfinder, a gold, either a Forerunner or a Pathfinder. Is it hers or belong to somebody else? Um, she sat with hers. Okay. And then, um, let's wait for her. And you said the dollar store? I'm sorry. Yeah, the family dollar. Family dollar. Is that the one in the Winn Dixie Plaza at Bay Meadows and Old Kings? No, it's the one that's right beside my house. So right, and right when you pull out you to the three. right? To the right. Well, I'm right. So that's actually awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you know what time about that y'all went there? Uh, I would say maybe roughly around one, like, uh, it was towards the evening. It was in the evening. Um, well, I mean, I you said one or the evening. Around a little after five, like five or so, I would say. I know I went by, I went twice. I went by okay. myself the second time I got the Alfredo sauce and a two liter and some stuff. So, well, let's start with the first time. What What was the first time you went up there? And you, I you went say with Brittany, yeah, obviously. Yeah, lunchtime. Around lunchtime. Around lunchtime. Yeah. Okay. You so, know what you bought? Um, yes, I bought some, um, some eye drops, mm -hmm. and I bought um, some pain reducer, the fear uh, reducer stuff. And this is the first time you eye drops? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I bought the fear reducer for his teeth. And um, some drinks, I think some Nutty Buddy bars, something, I mean, just a few like items like that. The eye drops were for? For the baby. Okay. For and you said the fever reducer was, was some? For, okay. for his teeth? And yeah, for his teeth, and he's cutting in four teeth. And you're saying he's cutting teeth, now is he just, are they just pushing through, or is his mouth bloody when he's, when he's cutting teeth? Uh, no, they're just, they're coming through. His so it's not, through. it's not a bleeding? No, he just, I could tell his mouth was irritating him or whatever because I was trying to um, get him to, I noticed when he right. was chewing, you know, he was acting like it was kind of sensitive. So, so it's just regular teeth, cutting. Yeah, yeah, it ain't yeah. like his teeth are pushing uh, through, there's got bloody, bloody mouth. Bloody no, no, <laughs> nothing like that. Just okay. a baby, you know, cutting teeth. Out. Just baby cutting teeth. All right. Um, you, you got that, those items, and where did you, where'd you go next? Um, back to the house. Okay, so where? Well, I went across the street to the store, I'm sorry. From the Family Dollar, the store right across the street from it, and Brittany got gas, and then we went right there to the house. Now, is the store across the street, which one is that? Is that the Kangaroo store, or what? It's, no, no, it's the, uh... It's a different nationality. Yeah, store. yeah, I got you. But okay. she got gas, and we went back to the house. To now, the we're, now, when y'all went there first, were the kids with y'all or not? Yes. Which Mine kids? and, um, Zane, which is her little boy. How old is Zane? Zane's three. Any others? No. What was uh, doing? Was she awake? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was awake. They were all awake. Was mm -hmm. awake and Zane? Yes. Okay. All right. You went across the street. She got gas. You know how much gas she got? I don't know. Did y'all buy anything else there? Um, yeah, I think I bought the kids a juice. Okay. That was it. Did, uh, you know where you parked at or where she parked to get gas right there by the pumps or she pulled in or did she pump gas and then pull in or? No, she um, just parked right there at the gas pump. Okay. Who all went in? She went in first and then come back out and then I went in once she got back out. And the kids go in? No, okay. that's why we took turns. All right, next, um, from there. From there we went home, went back to the apartment and um, the kids
kids were watching a movie, I made some shrimp alfredo. <clears throat> what time frame are you talking about? Um, I cooked probably around probably about six. So after we got back from the dollar store with Brittany, we watched some more movies. Dad, I remember getting woke up around five something. So to the door, someone at the door ripping that up and answered the door. You say uh, when did Brittany leave? Brittany left uh, a few minutes after we got back. What was she, what was the purpose of her visit? Uh, she was there when I woke up, so she was just, she was just getting out of the house. What side of town was, was she up. coming from? Marietta. From my understanding, this is where she had left from. Was her um, boyfriend? I guess you would call him his dad's house. All right. Um, all right. So you at the house and. Uh, you said, what are you doing between that, getting home from, uh, when Brittany leaves, what what do you do? You cook? No, I, we laid down and watched a few movies first, and then when I got up at five, a little after five. We do? Uh, me and Ruben. Okay. And the kids. Mm -hmm. Then um, then I went back to the dollar store and got some Alfredo sauce and a two liter, and believe some mango twist punch. Okay. And um, some feminine items. And then I went back home. I cooked the shrimp alfredo. All right, hold on, let me move that. Let's let her catch up. Make sure she's up. Mm -hmm. You good? All right. Okay. I cooked the uh, the shrimp alfredo, and we all ate. Everybody. Everybody ate. And was going back and forth between me, mine and Reuben, and eating off our plate. Reuben getting bites off of our plate. And um, was y'all's roommate home at this time? No, he left sometime or another around. I think he left around like three or four or something. So he, he didn't eat none of the shrimp? Um, not in my, like, you know, okay. nothing. I don't know if he did later. He took his daughter with him though, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then um, I went upstairs and took a shower and everything and went to work. Okay. And when you say, let's talk about work. Okay, so you took your shower. Mm -hmm. You get ready to go to work. Tell me what the tell me about that because we'll go let take the Simpson. She's what here the other night. Um, I don't know. I mean, work's normal. I mean, no, how'd you get to work? Let's start from leaving your house. Oh, okay. Um, I drove me and Ruben. And we I drove the car to, to Wacko's. Okay, and um, I got out and kissed the baby and I told him I loved him. I'd see him when they would when they got there to get me from work. And then Reuben got out. It was raining. Reuben got out, um, like basically, I guess, you know, like bump knuckles with this guy that he knew. And then walked around to the driver's side and got in the driver's side. And I went on in. Okay. Kids were there? Yes. Were they awake, asleep? or? They were awake. He was drinking his bottle. What kind of bottle was he drinking? Um, it had fruit juice in it. Uh -huh. How'd you get to the store? I don't think I got this. How'd you get to the store when you bought the Alfredo? I drove the car. The car being? The minor Ruben's car. The orange car. Yes, the orange car. Sorry. We are walking her through it. I'm okay. sorry. That's all right. I know you've been through this a million times. Well, I just, I, I just assumed that yeah. she knew what car I was talking about. When you sorry. went to that store, who was with you? By myself. No kids, nothing? No, I left them with Ruben. Okay. That's a Honda, right? Yes, Civic. Okay. Two door. Is that an automatic or? A it's an automatic. Okay. So it got um. It's got like power locks on it or anything. It does. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we use the key for. It's just to unlock it, not to crank it. Do you? Is it like a button that you push to lock yes, them in? Um, inside. Well, actually, you have to pull the handle on the driver's side mm -hmm. and press the button down, and then it locks both doors. Okay. And how do you get out of the door? You just if, it's, it. if it's locked, it'll unlock it as you're pulling it, or? Yeah, as long as you're from the inside, most most of the time. It, the kind of most doors. of the time, I mean, does it? <laughs> well, if the lock button's the down, or, or if it's got the, one of those switches on the handle, or is it right um, here? It's a little silver one right here. 
And sometimes when you press it, you have to press it a couple times. It's messed up is why I say most of the time. If you pull it, you know, sometimes it'll flip back and it'll let you out on your own like it's supposed to. Does it ever stick? It's, what was it? Does it, the lock ever stick if you're inside or you have to play with it? Yeah, or? that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, most of the time it'll open up like you're supposed to when you go to get out. It'll unlock itself for you, but a lot of times it don't. So you have to sit there and pull the handle and jiggle like the little... How's the door, though? Is the door... Does it open pretty easy once it opens? Mm -hmm. Okay. You ever done that herself? Um, Honestly? No, no, I don't think that she has. I've never seen. I mean, I know she knows how because I've told her, you know, unlock but just, the door. But just, I mean, you, I, I appreciate that, but just, um, that's pretty important to me. Yeah. You've never seen her get a, unlock that door herself and get out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She knows how, yes. I don't, well, that's, did, have you seen her do it or you just know she can do it? I've seen her do it. Okay. I thought you said never seen it before. That's why I went back up. Well, what I meant was, like, I've never, like, I would leave her in the car and tell her to, uh, but she did lock me out of it the other day, and then I had to make her unlock it and let me in, so. Well, now, remember when when we was talking with Reuben, he said that y'all commonly left the kids in the car because no. the car would run. No, I don't commonly leave. No, I left the car running, not, not with my kids. children in it, no. Good. I haven't never left my children in the car with me. Man, I sure hope that. I'm glad you told uh, me that. No, I mean, I have locked it. It's hard to crank up something yeah, that won't crank. So you've never seen him do that? No. Okay. Not leaving the kids in there. I've seen him leave it running and us lock the doors and go into the store, get what we're getting, and then come back out. But never with the kids in there. We always take the kids out. That's kind of asinine to even think that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so you, uh, you go to work. Um, after you drive, you get out. He jumps over and gets in the driver's seat. Kids bumps were there. knuckles with somebody. Mm -hmm. You know who he bumped knuckles with? Um, guy that works there drives a golf cart. I can't remember his name. I don't Nick Daniel. Mm -hmm. White guy, black guy? Um, he's white. Big, short, um, fat, skinny. He's, mm, he's, he's fairly tall, but he's thick, too. He's not as skinny. He's not real skinny. Color hair. What does he got Brown. here? Brown. How old does he look? Um, yeah, I do guess. 30s. Okay. All right, so you go to work. And uh, what time do you say you get you get into work? Mm -hmm. You got into work Thursday. Oh, 8, 8.30. Okay. Did Reuben say where he was going from there? Did you talk about it along the way? Or as you was getting to work? He just be going back to the house. He was going to get the kids. Uh, to, I told him uh, to give the kids a bath maybe and lay them down at least there and I'm and then uh, but wait till she goes to my mom's because they were going to my mom's. Did they need a bath too? Was she? Did she need one? Yeah, but I don't let you know anyone bathe her but me. So I told her to just hold off on her, and I'd give her one in the morning before she went to my mom's. Um, I was gonna give one before I went to work, but I was already running so late I just didn't. Okay. Um. Did you say the they were supposed to go to your mama's? Mm -hmm. They were going to be going to my mom's. That was the plan, is that he was going to go home, wash the, the baby. Well, Not get wash him ready the bed, yeah. Right. And then they were going to drive out to your mom's? To the next day. Okay. They were supposed to go out there Friday. What time do y'all normally set them down for bed? Um, They're normally laying down by at least nine. We have them on their pallets or in the bed with us watching a movie. Okay. And they're not, you know, always asleep by that time, but they're laying down. Okay. All right, so you're at work. Do you, do you send messages or do you have a phone call with uh, Ruben at any point during your shift? Um, I think I, I talked to him once maybe, but I don't, I don't, I was very busy that night. I don't really, I know I didn't really message him or anything like that. Um, what about um, anything at all? What about uh, dealing with Brittany? Um, that, towards the end of the night, yeah, but that was after I was off work. Do you remember any phone call you had with him? during your shift at all? Yes, right before, I think that right before Brittany had gotten there, I think I talked to him. What What do you remember his, him saying as um, exact as you can remember? I'm trying to remember. I think that we talked about their um, the movies 
was uh, she was just about to put on a movie and um, get some more to eat. And I was I told him I had uh, had customers that I needed to go, and um, I was telling him how dead it was in there that there really wasn't no one in there. And um, and then I told him, oh well, Brittany just got here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get off the phone. We're gonna you know I'm gonna go back out there and work because I went to the dressing room. You know, time Brittany got off work. What time she got same off? Same time as you were. Same time. Yeah. All right. Gee, during this incident, up until you got home, did you have any more phone conversations with Ruben? Only the one where um, he told me to get a ride, and then I called him and said, get a ride. And you just said you were on your way up here, but I guess just, I told you guys, just give me Brittany's number. I need to call her. She's done gone. All right. Did he say anything else at all? Um, no, he told me the number, and um, I told him, all right, well, I'll be there in a minute. And he said, all right, well, come home. And yeah, up. give you Brittany's number? Mm-hmm. Because that, that number that she's been using isn't her phone. Okay. And not, so she had, I guess, lost her other phone. It wasn't the same number, so I'm saying. Okay, okay and let me, and, and I'm, I don't want to be confused here because this is pretty important. So you guys get off work around what time? Um, like 2. Okay. 2.30. Now, at this point, did you already have arrangements to go home with somebody? At two o'clock? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Ruben was okay. supposed to be there. So Ruben was already supposed to be there, and how do you yeah. know that? Because, that's, I mean, he always picks me up. He told me when he dropped me off or when I got out the car. Is he there. usually on time? Yeah. Is he usually on time? Is he early, or is he usually a couple I minutes mean, late? Sometimes he's there, you know, five or ten minutes before two, and, you know, one forty-five-ish, somewhere around in there, and he'll sit there and wait on me. So, and um, sometimes he's there 205 you know what okay. I mean 210 may possibly is pushing him that's him running late to pick me up okay so at two o'clock when you got off was he there waiting on you no okay so what happened then and then I texted him um, asked him where he's at yeah okay. what did he say and um, he said on my way okay and um, and then a couple minutes later he uh, texted me and told me to get a ride okay. did he say did he say anything else uh-uh. Did you call I didn't talk him back? to him again until we got to the apartment. So, you, so uh, you didn't. You end up didn't. We, I know you didn't get a ride with Brittany. Mm -mm. You end up getting a ride with Christina. Yeah. Okay. Tell her how. Tell uh, Detective Simpson how that unfolded, and you know the stuff that you know we later found out. But you know, just run through that till you get home. Okay. So you get a ride from Christina because he tells you to get a ride. Yeah. At and this I point, you know Brittany. anything's wrong. No. And I had called, I called Brittany and, you know, asked her where she was and she said off of Atlantic. And, you know, I told her, well, you know, I guess I do need a ride. And then I had seen, I spotted Christina and told her to hold on a second. I told Brittany to hold on. I'll ask, you know, Christina if I can get a ride with her. Then Brittany was already gone. Okay. Christina said, yes, yeah, she would take me home. So I told Brittany, never mind. All right. So you and Christina get together in the car. Yes. You drive down the road. We go to Pinebrook. Okay. Do you know the way y'all, y'all traveled to get there? From Wacko's, um, the interstate, I do believe. Did y'all go to university and to the inter yeah, okay. got off on I ninety five right. to university. Mm -hmm. Okay. So y'all go to University of Powers and you end up going to Pine oh. Brook, which is anywhere else before Pine Brook or after. Pine Brook is the oh. apartment complex. It, it, it is, but. Yeah, let's get past that. Right. Okay, well, we got sure, you're at Pinebrook. Yes, Any there. other stops that we need to know of? No, that was them. And you go to Jessica's? Yes. What was her apartment? Do you remember her apartment number? 139. Okay. All right, so you went to Jessica's. And is this for a particular reason, I'm assuming, to get something? To get, yeah, to get $20 from her. Okay. What was the purpose of the $20? I loaned it to her and her sister at Wacko's to for them to be able to stay there basically because you have to have an open beverage and they didn't have any money. So she loaned Jessica money. Mm -hmm. So Jessica's a dancer too? No. no. She just comes in there. Her and her sister come in there daily pretty much. They okay. come in there a lot. Alright, so you loaned Jessica money and you were getting the money back. Yeah. Alright. So you leave Do out. anything else with her? No, I didn't do anything else with the shot. She offered it to me, but I told her no, I didn't need it because... She offered you a... She offered to sell me a dub of Coke. And powder I, or yeah. hard or... 
uh, powder. Okay. But I told her no because I needed the money. Okay. Is Jessica going to say that? Or is she going to say you know. got the dub? Uh, no, that's a, no, nah, she gave me 20 bucks. Okay. She's going to give you the, the dub in place of the 20 or did she offer that or did she just? No, she was just telling me that she had something if, you know, if I needed it and I told her, no, nah, I need my money, so. Right. So she, you, she was going to offer you a dub of salt, but you said, no, nah, give me the 20. Yeah. You get a $20 bill? Well, it was after she'd already gave me the 20 bucks, but she was just informing me, I guess, that she had some if right. I needed something and I told her no. Okay, so you turned her down. Yeah. Now, is Christina with you? Yeah. Okay. She's in the car, though, right? Yeah, she's in the car. And you get out? Yes, I got out with Christina. I mean, in the car. Unless I'm wrong. I don't want to put words in your mouth. She's, but does she know you were there to collect money? Yeah. Okay. All right, so where do you go from there? Um, the officer pulls up. And, uh, Inside of Pinebrook? Mm -hmm. or? Okay. Blocks us in, basically. Like you're walking to the car, if I remember right, and, you're, mm -hmm. and he pulls up. And he um, asks us if we had seen the orange Civic. We told him, I uh, told him no. He reported us that there was a kid missing. And I want and you to slow down. He asked you if you had seen an orange Civic, and you said no. Right. And, had, and right. there was a kid missing. Mm hmm Okay, what else? Um, and then we went to, uh, I told him, at first I told him no. Um, that I didn't really recognize that and then I told him yeah that's my kid I think that might be my kid and we go and he tells me to show him uh, where that he would follow me to the apartment so he followed you or Joe he followed no he followed us right. and then we're there at the apartment followed and Christina into the apartment complex okay where do y'all park but, at? No, I did correct myself after I told him that I didn't had recognized that description but then he gave you the name also yeah you told then, him yeah, at and first. Then I, and then I told, yeah, but then I corrected myself with him and told him, yeah, I think that's my kid. And I live in Ravenwood. And just just because she wasn't here, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, tell tell uh, Detective Simpson why you initially did that because you wanted to. I wanted to get there and uh, find out what was going on for myself. I didn't know what was going on or, you know, it was just crazy sounding that my you know my kid could be kidnapped in a car I, I just i wanted to get there and see for myself firsthand what was going on before i spoke to him any further or anybody i didn't want to so know. the officer telling you this information is the first you're hearing it yes so you're there to just collect the 20 dollars yes and, and you he get was blocked looking, in yeah and he was well he was looking for the orange civic and in the process of looking for the vehicle you know he had blocked us in okay so you're basically lying to him because you want to find out if it's for real? Yeah, basically. Like you thought the officer was bullshitting you? No, I didn't think the officer was bullshitting me. Okay. I just felt like, what the fuck is going on? Let me get home and find out what the hell's going on. And then I can answer anybody's questions that needs me to. Okay. But at that point in time, I just wanted to get there and, you know, talk to Ruben too and, you know, ask him what the hell happened, what what's going on. Okay. So so he followed you around. Mm -hmm. Christina's, Christina's car she drove around? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you and get back over to the straight to the apartment side for that. What kind of car does Christina have? Uh, my maroon Altima, I think it is. All right, so you pull up. Where do you where do you pull up in your apartments? Um, on the other side of the Grand Prix. In Let's front see. of yours, or on the side of the building, or? Um, it's not right in front of mine. It's in the um, it's in, at, here's my apartment. It's right here is where I pulled in at on the other side where the um, this apartment is. It's not on the other side of the building. It's to the left of your apartment? Yeah, to the left of my apartment instead of directly in front of it. Okay. Okay. All right, happy next. We got out of the car. And, we, um, you mean Christina yeah, get out? Or yeah, me and Christina got out, and um, she gave the officer her driver's license and, I guess, her information or whatever, and um, what I was talking to to Ruben, asking him, you know, what happened, and he told me that the um, that he ran upstairs, and at first he told me to lock the doors, and then uh, he come back downstairs, and the car was gone, and told me it was uh, 
trying to see which way it had went while you know he was calling 911 or come back to the house and call 911 and he told me that he was kidnapped that he was sorry for leaving the car running with you know unlocked that he shouldn't have left the baby in there um it was very convincing that the car had gotten stolen with the baby in it well but is it but it's unusual that even he would leave the car running with kids with in. the kids in it yeah so that's that's I mean, you say it's pretty convincing. I don't know how convincing that is. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I was just saying the way he was acting with the, you know, the sure. whole situation. You, that's what I believed at the time. Okay. Until you know, certain points and details were facts were pointed out that obviously right. that's not true. Now, your conversations with him are critical. Mm -hmm. I need to know to the best of your ability what was said because we got some information okay all right okay you understand you have to be honest i am being honest okay yeah i mom. mean we're not gonna we're not gonna do that business we did no, the other day absolutely not uh, i mean neither one of us want to yell and or anything like that but we have some information okay and we need you to help cooperate our information okay okay so it's not for me to talk it's for you to tell me some things that you may not have told me about your conversations. About mine and his conversation mm -hmm. was that he um he then he told me that he went upstairs to uh to get some some coke to serve Lapita that Lapita had called. Mm -hmm. Um. And who's Lapita? The lady that we looked up. But who is she in all this? I mean, is she a dancer? Or is she no, she just she she, I, she used to date Danny. If I'm not mistaken, she used to mess with him. Does she live nearby or? I don't know where she lives. I've never been to her house. Does he serve at the house or does he drive around and serve or does he do both or? That, that both. I mean, most of the time he'd go and meet someone though because to keep him from coming to the house. Which he told me he was meeting her on her on his way. He was supposed to meet her on the way to pick me up from work. Okay, so you knew that he would do drug sales? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes. And sometimes that included with your children present? Well, no, I told him not to have anyone up there at the house like that, to do not to do that around my kids, if he was going to do it to keep it, you know, away from the house, away from the kids. So, I wasn't right. supposed to be doing it in front of them. Okay. Right. So what do you remember more of the conversation? Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to give you the starting point with I'm sorry. I was I think I'm almost sure there's more that he told you besides I'm sorry. Uh, no, he told me that he was sorry about uh, about everything happening like this, and I'm telling him what's happening. You know about what's what, happening. Yeah, what's right. happening. What happened? And yeah. So well, what you know what happened? He just told me that. He was, it was so, that was so stupid, I'm sorry, you know, for, for leaving took the car running. He, at the house, he's still telling me that the car got took. He didn't know how he let this happen. He's sorry. And, you know, to, that, you know, is, he, I have, you know, I have to, I, I have to know that, you know, he didn't mean for, uh, for, you know, my baby to get took. That's what he's telling me. And that he loves me, and told me um, that was, I mean that he was sorry that that was stupid of him. And he was telling me, but look at all the times we've left the car running. You remember and him saying that? And you're telling me that what that didn't happen? What? He said, look at all the time. Now he didn't. I remember what you're saying. He didn't just say because he was trying to convince me that he that he go. We would always because the car had a bad, you know, it was hard to keep yeah. running or whatever. He said. He said that y'all did that routinely with the kids. He didn't not like it. He didn't like it. But that's what was done. Do you know that to be true or not true? What, that he said that? No, I know he said that, but did I'm talking about did he actually do it. I know what he's saying. No, but I want to know if he leave did my it. kids in the car. And okay. he don't either. We always take them out. Okay, so when he said that. That was a lie. We don't never leave them in there with the car running. We don't leave them in there at all. We get right. out the car and we take them with us. So what does that mean he's doing? Lion. 
what do you think what do you think happened what do I think happened right um I think they you know, he wasn't watching him well and something happened to him uh, and I think maybe he got a hold of something out, you know out of his drawer or off the dresser or out of the floor somewhere you know or something and maybe you know accidentally overdosed or something like that or and he freaked out and he come up with something quick to you know make it look like something else who who um uh, who did your son go to for who was his doctor his pediatrician um sarah combs she go to anybody she from mclenny mm -hmm. she sarah a PA? candidate sarah candidate yeah. right yeah i went to school with her that was his pediatrician so she's like a pa right mm -hmm. All right. And did you ever take your son anywhere else for any other treatment in the in the recent past? Mm -hmm. So I mean, um, Sarah's got uh, she's got your medical records at her office. Where's her office at? Um, it's right by the railroad tracks beside Napa, or not Napa, um, Mixon. Five Mixon. Mixon Tire. Okay, on the opposite side, or oh, it's right around the same one as Mixon Tire, mm -hmm. and right across from the uh, Chevrolet used. Car. Okay, I got you. Right, and what's the name of her of the business there? McClendon Pediatrics. Okay. Who is Aunt Tina? Do you have an Aunt Tina? Do I have an Aunt Tina? Yeah. Do you know anybody has an Aunt Tina? I don't have an Aunt Tina. Do you know anybody close to you that's named Tina? Close to you. My cousin's wife. She's close to you? I mean, no, I mean, we don't talk regularly. Okay. Or I thought you meant like close kid no, or no. whatever. Alright. Have you talked? Which one? No. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> is that what it is? No. Yeah, no, I don't talk to her. Has watched. She went, um. Yeah, she, well, she, uh, yeah, I guess you could say she watched her. She took her to um, the mall with uh, her and the other kids, their kids, Ruben's kids. How did she time. get? She come over, and um, we had the kids, and we had them for like a week. What day was that? I don't remember. It was. No, I mean during all this. Oh, no. She so haven't, during any of this, you haven't seen or talked to her, or and has not been with her any? No. Has he been over to Ruben's parents? No. Have you know? She's been right there at my mama's. Okay, well that's I need to know that. Yeah, Miss Donna knows where she's been. That's why I'm asking on this case. Did um, have you talked to anybody that you know was going to talk to Reuben? That is going to talk to Reuben? No. Gonna I or has? Mm-mm. Okay. No, I haven't. Um, I mean, I know I've talked to you know um, Jake and just asked him. Uh, what he you know i said what do you think you know what do you do do where's places that you know you and ruben hang out or whatever because they would shoot pool together and golf together and just trying to get an idea maybe of somewhere i didn't think of or something like that and but that's it and he's not going to see ruben yeah i mean that's just a mutual like a common friend is where, all where are you staying at where am i staying at i'm staying right off of um University, oh, well, not university, it's Phillips and University, I guess. The Super 8 across from uh, the racetrack, right there. And yeah, that's the Super 8, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm, and 126. Who's Steve? That's my cousin. My mom and her dad are first cousins. Okay. She have a phone number? Mm -hmm. Um, When did you first learn about the car getting stolen? When I got there, well, at Pinebrook. Where the officer said it. Okay. He said the car was stolen, or he said there is. I think back up, Eileen, on that new. Did she? Did, I think you said he told you there's a, a missing kid, right? Or did you did you say there's a? There, he said uh, uh, there's a um, an or, um, an orange Civic has a uh, Honda Civic's been stolen with a uh, possibility of a child in the back. Did you call anybody? No. Not from not from there to. Now Jessica called me while I was in the park, not, but the Jessica Rodriguez. Have Pine. Mm -hmm. Called me while. Rodriguez we were at, or Hernandez. 
one of those names. One of, yeah, one of them. Okay. But um, she called me and asked me what was going on because she had overheard things, and then I told her she was standing right around in the parking lot. Did you talk to Brittany at all between Pine Brook and... No, not in between that gap. I talked to her while I was at. What'd you tell Brittany? And the officers were already there. All right, what'd you tell Brittany? Um, I, when I first got there, I told her that uh, that my, um, my ex had come and took my kid or stole the car, you know, with my kid in it, and I thought what it was What made you think that? Because me, me he's, he wants, he wants me and him back together so bad that it just, he would do almost, it, it wouldn't surprise me for I him know. to, you know, for him to act that way. I thought he just lost his ever loving mind and Are you sure? stupid shit. But well, let's go back and think. Now, what other conversations did you have with Brittany at Wacko's? Think hard about this. Because we got your phone records. Mm -hmm. Come on. About holding out a little bit. What about the the Roxy's? This is when you asked her for the con for the ride. Oh, oh, a dub. No, 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 no. When you asked Brittany for the ride, the money. When you asked Brittany for the ride, and this is after you already got the money from her at work. Yeah. When you asked her for the ride, you also told her. Oh, when I called, what did I tell her? I want you to tell me that because there's more. You told her more than, hey, I need a ride. No, I told her I don't know what's going on. You know, Ruben's not here yet. I, then I don't remember because that's it. I don't uh, know well, let, me re let me refresh your memory. Yeah, because I don't remember telling her anything. No, you told her. I needed a ride. You told her. That that Ruben had told you that the car had gotten stolen. You told her that. No. No. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. I'm not. Look at me. I'm not asking you that. You told her that. Okay. You told her that. You well, told I her. I was you, still at Wacko's. You, when you told. I didn't know that the hold, car was stolen until you I. You told got her. Car hold on. I'm just telling you because I don't. Brittany, who's a friend. Brittany's got no reason to lie about that. Um, uh, you might want to call her again, because, yes, sir, I didn't know that. I, when I was at Wacko's, I didn't know that. Let me ask you this. Why would Brittany lie? Story. Why would Brittany lie? Because Brittany was nervous as hell uh, yesterday when I did see her. I seen her um, for a, a split second when uh, it was when we were all at the entrance of... Uh, Let me ask you this. You think Brittany stole your child? Do I think Brittany stole my child? That's what I asked you. No. Okay. But do I think that she would leave bits and pieces out? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, why? She's not leaving bits and pieces out. She's she's not the one leaving bits and pieces out. She's telling me more than you told me. Well, I know. You're I, leaving bits and pieces out. No, I'm now, not. Now, hold on. Now, you have left bits and pieces I out. I have, but that I did what not makes say to different? her. I did not tell her that. I told her that when I was at... Brittany has no... Hold on, anything. tell me why. I didn't even know that the car was gone then. How am I supposed to tell her that? Listen, to, know. listen to me. When you start talking, that's when whenever you start going on... I'm sorry past the question gets me worried. I'm sorry. Because this is a, re a repeat of the other night. You did this and you were lying through your teeth. I'm not lying to you. Okay, well, Brittany's not lying. I can tell you that. Brittany has no dog in this hunt. You tell me why Brittany will lie on you, first of all. She's dri she's driving you to the store. Maybe she got my time. Her time's messed up from when I talked. No, 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 no. I'm no, telling you. Listen, if listen. don't don't try and guess. I asked you a question. Why does first of all answer me this? Does Brittany have a reason to lie on you? Yes or no? And if you say yes, you tell me yes. I mean, you tell me the reason. I think that she would lie. Why? Why? Because uh, she she was scared to death that uh, she said they come and got me a personal vehicle and I'm not going back down there to talk to them again and um she and she and she said uh, that she she's like I got um she said she had some drugs on her whatever she couldn't afford to be mixed up in this. Okay, so that's still no reason to lie. Well, whatever. I'm There's no re that's no reason to lie. Okay. Okay. Well, I can tell you this: if Brittany lies in this, guess what happens to Brittany? The only, the only, the only thing Brittany's got to worry about is lying. You, do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. That's what I. Was okay, well, that's why I'm saying she don't have a reason to lie. It's not her child. She's your friend. Y'all have kids stay together. 
Yes, sir. Okay, she's driving you with her gas money from the other side of town coming to pick y'all up because y'all are mm -hmm. y'all are friends at work. Mm -hmm. You know, she gives Reuben money to watch her kids while she's working sometimes, and she doesn't have a Regardless problem. Regardless of all that, I still didn't tell her that. I'm just telling you, okay? I'm I have a big issue with that. I have a real big issue with that. I know what happened. I know what happened because she was talked to fresh, fresh after this. As soon as we found out through your phone, we talked to her. I you know what her. else doesn't lie? You know what else doesn't lie? We could argue all day whether she lied or didn't lie. What we do, and that's why th these things have to be cleared up, what we do is we do look at records. And, and there's a timestamp what we have. Oh, the, and I'm not have. denying that I called her from Wacko's. I did call her and I asked her for a ride home, but I didn't right. even know that anything was wrong with well, it. You said that. We knew that, that you had told. I mean, that, that's, that's all been said. said. That part has been said. Yeah. It's not her leaving out bits and pieces. It's the other way there's around. There's nothing else to leave. There's nothing to leave out. I'm telling you, we got some big When issues. I spoke to her at Wacko's, that is all I knew was that I needed a ride at that point in time. I didn't know that the car was gone. I didn't, he didn't tell me that. When we, I did not know that until I got to Pinebrook. You didn't have a call with him? To Ruben? I, yeah, we're asking for Brittany's number. Right. That's it, though. He, he didn't... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's, that's where I got the problem. He didn't tell me over the phone that anything... Listen, you are way too smart to have this man go out of his routine out of the blue for no reason. Yeah, I felt something was wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on, and I'll, let me make myself. Oh, you, feel, okay, well, you just said it. You felt something was wrong. You're too, you're way too strong of a woman to even just in passing ask what's up. Whether it's, you know, your car is fucking up or something, you're going to ask. I know this from being around you already because you're, you're. You didn't tell me, I honestly. Well, that's why I'm telling you, Brittany knows that because Brittany told us fresh out the shoot because she didn't know what was going on. And she just said it by saying, yeah, she told me, she said, her old man told her that the, the car got stolen. She needed me to get a ride home, get a ride home. I told her I was somewhere that else. That is not what happened. Where was she at? Out off of Atlantic. Out of Atlantic. Okay, but I still didn't And it was going to be that. a few minutes, was, right? Hey, but I this. still didn't. There's a text message that says it. Yeah, that text message came from. I was already. At you sure about that? Yeah. The time suggests differently. Yeah. And you know what? Listen, here's the thing. Listen. I just I don't remember telling her that. I really don't remember. Well, just her because that. you don't see, that's where I know you're wrong. Because if you didn't remember that, you wouldn't have jumped my shit for I'm saying not that. No, you're. You're. You know what? No, you jumped her shit by saying. She's lying. She's she well, did it. She would just tell you bits and pieces. No, she's not. I'm telling you. See, if you don't remember it, and I, I bring remember. that to you, that's probably true. Okay. Well, I don't. That listen. That's probably true. Okay. Okay. Don't jump my shit and her shit because you now you're saying you don't even remember. I'm telling okay. you right now. There's a text message when you're at Wacko's that has this. Okay. Okay. So that means okay. you knew. You told her. No. Okay. So you know that's true. I'm telling you right now, that's true. You better figure it out. Okay? Okay. Think for a minute. I'm thinking. I really am thinking. The text message is there because I know what time he called you. I know what time the 911 call was. I know where you're at. I know where he's at. I know about the stop. And what bothers me big time, hold on, what bothers me big time is you got to look at me. I'm going to get... I'm going to stay calm as I can. This thing's getting done tonight. It is getting done tonight with you. You got knowledge that something happened. Don't, don't, don't protect do that. Him. Please don't do that. Don't protect this man. He's, don't go down with the ship. One thing I can tell you, that, I, one thing I can are. tell you, his phone recordings and everything like that help us and it paints a picture when we finally get all these phone records back. We hadn't been sitting on our ass for four days. No, I you know, know that. You know that. Know you know that. And here's what. Here's the thing. Here's I the know thing. You guys here's the thing. And I don't really care. Be, I'm trying. To, I'm trying. You, to you're, what you're trying to do? No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Listen, listen. I'm gonna try to say this as easy as I can. Okay. okay. You are gonna get your dumb ass in a lot of trouble over. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna protect my man. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have my man's back. 
That's what you're telling people. I'm going to have my man's back. You can't. Listen, who cares if you said it or not? But here's what I see about you. I see you. My child is missing. Mm -hmm. I don't give a rat's motherfucking ass who's got to go to jail. Somebody better go to jail. And you know what? You know what? Here's the thing. We haven't been sitting around for four days for nothing. So I can tell you what you've done when. Every Right now, what you don't understand is everybody you talk to comes and tells us. Okay. And everybody that you've been around comes and tells us. Okay. So to sit and tell people that you're going to have his back, it kind of makes me a little sick. I didn't say I had his no, back. No, you had his back when you came in here that night. We're hopefully past that. Yeah, that's why I said If you came in and sat I'm down not. in his lap, did you come and sit down with him? I did. Okay, well, here's when the thing. Start, I'm going to tell you something. Happened. I love this man to death, but if he hurts my child, I'm fucking going to wring his goddamn neck and kill him. That's no yeah. accident. That's no accident. I can tell you this. The thing everybody knows, and even you're street smart it's enough to know, that fucking stolen car is bullshit. We know I that's bullshit. I told you that. I know. I we know that's bullshit. That. We I know really that's do. bullshit. I do. And you know it's bullshit because there is more that you have to Let tell Let me ask you this. Why, what are you doing at Super 8 Hotel? What am I doing there? Staying there? Who's, where are your kids at? Where are my kids at? They're with my mom's. I mean, I'm Why? staying at my mom's tonight. Why? Why? No, you're staying at Super 8 Hotel. Why? Why? Actually why are you not? Why aren't you with your kids and holding on to them? Um, honestly, because I, me and my mom are close, but we're not. We're. I mean, me and her. After a few minutes together, why aren't your we, kids? Why aren't you? Why aren't you? Why with you? Why with me? Because Miss Donna said that she's fine right there. She has to stay the night at my mom's. Miss Donna's not your your baby's mama. I know, but she said that she they need. And to why, if if it's not a good idea, That's that that well. she need. Hey, if it's not a good idea that she don't go to Super Eight, guess who also shouldn't be going to Super Eight? Oh, she can go there, but Miss Donna, my mom said that Donna said that she needs to be there. I don't care who said what. Sleep. If that's my child, I want to be with my child. Your child, your son is missing. I know, and that's why I'm your other one. Over your here. other one. Trying to no, your other one should be with you. What are you doing okay. tonight? Are you doing anything tonight? Um, actually, I was on my way to the visual that was being held in McClendon, and I was going back out to my mom's to stay. And what there. else were you planning tonight? That's it. Mm. You sure? Yeah, I'm you sure. can't even tell the truth about that, can you? What are you talking about? That is what I have planned for tonight. Are you, who's, are you supposed to be working tonight? No, I'm not working. You sure about that? I'm positive. 150% positive I'm not working. Right. I was going right back to my mom's after the vigil. And that's where I was staying. You can call her and ask her. That's where I was staying at tonight, was with them. I was at the vigil. The one in McClenny? Yeah. Yeah, I know. When Miss Donna called me, um, she told me to come here. I told her if I was on my way to If you had gotten there, it. if you were... No, you, I hadn't gotten there yet. I know. We were making the You weren't going to make it on time. Why well, wasn't I? You wasn't. But, I was uh, on my way there before I came here. Yes, I you was. You weren't going to make it. You weren't going to make it. Why wasn't I going to make it? I was making a poster and Hold shirts. on, hold on, hold on. Do not get that attitude with well, me today. Well, I'm sorry, but that was I, Hold on, hold offensive. on. I'm telling you right now. Look. That was offensive? Let me tell you something. Your baby's fucking dead, and that was offensive? Let me tell you something, okay? This is done tonight. I know, you know that. This is the fucking tip of the iceberg. I know. Review. This is the tip of the iceberg. Review. Where was that blanket at when you left? At home. Where? At home. I don't know. I guess it's the last room. time you saw that in blanket. The room. Right. Okay. Mm. It's, it's closing in. What? You're going to find out where that blanket was. Where? No, I'm sorry. I don't even have to tell you that. We know who that blanket was with. But I don't need to... You need to get on board. How was your son feeling before the last couple days? Or did he have any... He was fussy. And well, did he have any injuries or anything like that on him? Bruises, maybe? Not he... Well, from right here, he had a little bit of a mark on his lip right here from where he was gnawing his lips. And that's why I know... What about his eye or... Anything no, behind his ear? No, he had a little bit of a um, a, a bruise about that big right here behind his ear. Where did and that come from? Where did that come from? I wasn't even sure, honestly. I wasn't sure where it come from, and I was going to have Sarah look at it Friday when I took him into the doctor's office. So your morning. son's got a bruise behind the ear. That's basically a skull fracture. Do you know that? No, I didn't This know right that. here that's is your basal skull bone. Well, that's okay, all. Okay, hold on, hold on. Well, no, well, that's not what you. That's not one you take to the doctor. That's one you take to the hospital well, I because didn't know your that. child starts acting fussy. Your child starts giving showing symptoms of head trauma. Oh, well, don't forget the throwing up. Throwing up. Yeah, he was sick. I was taking yeah. him to the doctor. No, you wasn't was taking him to the doctor. You were stripping. Friday. You were stripping. 
I was supposed to be taking him Friday. You know, that's not what you wait for. How did he hear? How did he hurt his head? How did you, how'd you get told he hurt his head? He said he didn't know how he hurt his head. He didn't know. He's got a black bruise behind his ear. He said, "Yeah, he said he didn't know how it got there." And that's I told one him, well, I'll check out. Get I'll yes, out at that's the my ne very next question. We're on the same page. How do you bruise the back of your ear? Behind your fucking ear? I don't know. You're stupid. I'm not fucking stupid. Oh, I'm you being are. honest with you. You're trying. I come home and the bruise was already there. When? I asked him where. When did you see it? Like Tuesday or when? Like Tuesday, I noticed it, and he asked him what it was from. I said, "How did this happen?" And he told me, "I, I don't." And know. that was okay for you? No, I told him I'll take him to the doctor. Oh, really? I, I don't know how you just hurt my kid, but you can stay around and we can. He said little. he didn't. He get the fuck out of here with that. That's that's really wrong. He didn't tell me that he did anything to him. He didn't have to. Did you fucking think the thing jumped out of the goddamn sky? No, but my baby also is. I mean, he's a baby. He's he throwing up behind he, his ear. He enters his head. No, but I didn't. He unknowingly, out of the blue, in, has a head injury. That's a head injury, is it not? Yeah. Right here? I'm talking about right here. Okay. 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 He injured. He's got a black and blue bruise behind his ear. Okay. My mom was there Wednesday. She's seen it too. She said, take him to the doctor on Friday. Your son's throwing up. Your son, at one point, not only threw up while he was throwing up, what else did he do at the same time? He, he shit diarrhea. himself. Exactly. Yeah, I figured he was sick. I was taking him to the doctor. That's not something you wait for. Okay, you're well, not that, gonna, maybe hold I on, messed hold up on. And there, this is this is not your first child. No, it's not. Like it's I not said, your maybe. first child. If your kid starts throwing up and shitting, and you have an unknown injury, that's not what you schedule. You're not going to convince me of that. And I know. Hold on. I know that all this is part of it. Okay. Your son wasn't happy. Your son wasn't wanting to eat. Your son wasn't wanting all this because when you have a basal skull fracture, you don't eat. You can't eat. You can't drink. You throw up. You can't have diarrhea. Okay. Well, okay, so I your son eating. Your, hold on. So when you say your son ate shrimp Alfredo. He did take a few bites of it with me. A yes, few bites. How many a few bites? Did you just shove a spoon in his mouth? No. Okay. Well, he didn't eat. Yeah, he, he didn't did. Eat. He didn't eat till he was full. I told you he didn't eat till he was he was full. But he's he not eating. He's being forced to eat, and that's no. not that's typical with the head injury. He's Why not acting normal. Him to eat? He's not he's not acting normal. You're saying, well, he's cutting teeth. Yeah, I'm just 